Liam, it's ended 5-1. Um, you started very well, had a couple of chances, they didn't go in, and, and before you know it, Leamington nick a goal. You go in at half time, 1 0 down, and then the second half we come on, and it's just a totally different game. You must be delighted with the reaction, the result, and the performance. Yeah, we, we've had three great chances in, in the first 10 minutes, so we should have took the lead, we didn't. Uh, and then, to, to be perfectly honest, we let the game sort of like go a little bit flat. Uh, the goal's terrible, we've conceded. You know, it's a needless foul by Dean. Andy Paddy's lost his man and it shouldn't go in at the near post, so it's just a calamity of errors. We then looked like we were going to have a little bit of a sulk about us, uh, but where they, where we thought we were going to cause them problems, they had a centre forward playing centre half and they had a, a left winger playing left back. We hadn't really hurt them. Obviously the wind is a bit of a factor. We always thought it'd be easier with the wind, uh, sorry, against the wind. Uh, so that was me thinking, put Dion down the middle, running behind them. And then, which allows to earn a little bit of space to actually get at the full back, and it's worked great. And some of the goals are magical. In terms of the, the, the five goals we scored in the second half, though, you, you've said for quite some time that you think we're going we're to have that kind of performance against someone, and to, to get five goals just shows perhaps a number of players coming into form for us. Yeah, and, and you know, as, as I keep on going back, but you know, I think come out the second half, I think David Morgan's second half performance has been outstanding. You know, the goal, I think, it, I think it was the third goal, was where Brad's actually put the pass to put Jordan Woods ended up coming into the box, and Brad's finished it great. It was just outrageously good. Uh, and you know what I, what I will say, you know, big issues. Jordan Richards didn't start today. You know, he's obviously disappointed. He comes on, he's fabulous. Uh, attitude first class. Gilly's come off at half time, obviously disappointed, but comes and gets on the bench, joins in. And again, that's what we need going into going into these latter starts, part of the season. Devan's come on, made a massive difference. Brad comes off, probably doesn't want to come off because he's on a hat trick. But that's a good game for us to, to, to give a little bit more experience to Morgan, uh, which, you know, against the wind, make sure he learns how to tuck in. Uh, so it's been a great learning, learning curve for him, and, you know, it's been a good performance. But, you know, as you said, from, from the, the, the Solial game to actually look at the, what the players have done, the amount of points they've taken, the effort they've put in, they have been absolutely first class. And the credit to me, credit to themselves, and more importantly, credit to the club. Seven points from the three games in, in the last seven uh, seven days is, is particularly key. It's, you, we got a, we got through a tough game on Tuesday night against guys who I thought posed, posed us quite a number of questions. A tough match, and then today we in the second half we've, we've really sort of uh, entertained the fans with that real second half shooting towards the Jack Carr stand. So it was, it was a really good finish to it was a flat week seven days ago. Yeah, and I said it wasn't just that, John. I said we we having it early in the season when we're missing penalties and nothing could go in, and then worldies are going in against us. But you look at the goals which have gone in. You know, Morgs has bent one in, Dion's scored two absolutely brilliant individual goals, Brad's second one's a great goal, but the first one's a great team goal, and it's what we needed, two minutes in from the changes, pull them back, you know, I can understand that the left back will, will have sleepless nights today because Devine's just come on and, and for 25 minutes absolutely tortured them, and uh, you know, we know that he's got that in his locker, and again, he's another young player, uh, so he's got more to come. It's quite ironic, we've been playing Saturday, Tuesday every week and now we've got a seven day rest but I'm sure some of the lads will be enjoying it that much, they'll be wanting to get out there on Tuesday but it's important to have that um, that, that bit of rest back now is it and, and go again. Yeah. Like the yeah, it's important we keep them together, obviously uh, I've given them Monday off so they're off Sunday, Monday, uh, Tuesday will, will be something in, in the gym, it'll be light in the bats, uh, back to Thursday where we will go with the DW and just literally play five sides and just keep the sharpness up and get us ready for what what's a big game at Altingham on Saturday. Thank you very much.